Flare Water is a very uh, calm atmosphere for the kids. Uh, there's a lot of things that we do sensory for them. Uh, the kids uh, have a different way of learning where they use tactical things, um, a lot of movement, and just a, a type of atmosphere where it makes learning fun for them while they're dealing with some of the issues that they have. Uh, we use several uh, different techniques, the hands-on aspect of teaching. We have different strategies that are used and a lot of audio, a lot of visual, um, role playing, uh, things of that nature. We serve students with a variety of learning differences. Many of our students are on the autism spectrum. Um, we serve students with ADHD, sensory processing disorders, um, just all kinds of learning disabilities. Our programs benefit students in different ways. Um, our students maybe with sensory integration disorder, they benefit greatly from our alert program through our occupational therapy. They benefit greatly through our therapeutic writing. They just get all that vestibular input and all of the everything that they need. It helps regulate their bodies. Um, so just depending on what their challenges are, our therapies are very helpful, just in different ways. I learned how to take care of horses and how to care for them. Um, because I like seeing the horses. How to hold the, how to hold the reins. I like to go really fast on the horse, so I get to like to get it up to a gallop and just ride. I like doing the um, woods hikes uh, when we ride our horses in the woods, or when we trot. Or my least favorite thing is doing the stretches on the horse. I like to trot because like um, trotting is fun and like. Um, myself, I like to run and stuff, so it's also fun to get a horse trotting and stuff. The two rides. Right. I hold on to the horse's neck and I stand up sometimes. Anzi's had therapy her whole entire life on every kind of therapy you can imagine, and I don't know that she looks at therapeutic riding as therapy. It's just fun. We have little ones who were terrified of being at the stable, scared around the horses, um, had never been exposed to that environment before, and now they are the leaders um, at therapeutic riding. Um, I watched a student who uh, was not very confident, a little afraid, um, actually have a, a small accident and got back up and got on and trotted. Therapeutic riding helps with the core because you're standing straight and um, you're having to squeeze your legs and ride the horse. The bilateral coordination of being able to sit up on the horse and then control the horse. Um, you've got your arms and your legs engaged. For someone who has decreased motor coordination, uh, when they are sitting on the horse and the horse is either at a walk, semi at a trot, you are getting the appropriate leg movements that you would have if you were walking. So even for someone who, you know, is successful at walking, it's still helping with that underlying coordination within the body to get that rhythm um, and fluidity of movement. As they work with the horses, they have to tack them, um, groom them, get them ready, walk them out, um, mount properly, and when they're riding you just see the ease. You see the connection with the child and the horse. I've seen self-confidence increase um, in the friendship that she has with her horse, Chess. Um, is just, as a, for a parent, it's just awesome because she talks about him all summer. She'll ride him and she comes home with this beam of happiness and, um, and she says, oh, he was so glad to see me. He shook his head and um, so yeah, I think she, it's helped her um, be confident and trusting, um, which has also helped in friendships and she has a, a great little bond with, with Chess.